Welcome back everyone to another installment of Daz Den Tech Reviews, the tech review channel where we focus and help you guys work smarter, not harder. And today with the wonderful world really interested in next gen gaming, everyone is updating their systems, they're updating their TV to 4K TVs, but now we're here to find out if you should also think about upgrading your HDMI cable. And we have a review today on an HDMI cable by Ryu Pro. It is a 8K fiber optic HDMI cable. Um, it supports 2.1 um, HDMI. Um, it says that it goes up to 120 hertz for 4K. And I believe it is for 8K is 60 hertz. Yep, 60 hertz. So today we're gonna to find out if this is something you guys should consider buying. Um, if this is your very first time over at Daz Den Tech Reviews, definitely to think about joining the Daz Den family and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notifications that way you can stay up to date on, on our later videos. But until then, you know, hit the end. All right, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Darren and this is Daz Den Tech Reviews, the tech review channel where we focus on helping you guys work smarter, not harder. And part of that working harder, not smarter thing is seeing if we can save you money any way we possibly can. And what we're gonna do is go through our normal review process. We talk about design and features of it, the performance, the pricing, and the final thoughts and decide if it gets the Daz Den stamp of approval. And if you wanna know the Daz Den stamp of approval, it's very simple. It is something like this. And what that means is that it met our qualifications for something that's good value, a good product, and something that we actually recommend that you will buy and that we will buy ourselves. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into this and move on with the design and features. Let's do it. All right, so fresh out the box, this is exactly what you're gonna get. This is the 12 meter version, um, and this is kind of where buying a more expensive cable actually matters um i'm not saying go to best buy and buy a 150 dollars hdmi cable for most reasons you could usually use one of the 4k hdmi cables from amazon you could literally use the amazon basics one this is about 40 feet anything above 25 feet and you want to pass that 4k daddy just want to pass that nice connection it is probably a good idea to have a fiber optics cable just like this one to actually be able to handle that bandwidth and actually transfer the data that you need. So if your TV is a really far from your system or your um, entertainment stands hut setup, you definitely want to invest in a cable that's going to cost a little bit more, um, in particular a fiber optics HDMI cable. Um, anything lower than that, you could probably get away with 25 feet or less, get away with a regular HDMI cable, which is perfectly fine. Um, but in anything that's running a lot longer than that, and you want to make sure you stay up with your signal, especially if you'll be gaming um, and using a 4K TV um, and playing games that's optimized for 4K, you definitely want to be able to have something that actually could pass that data around. Um, so this is exactly what you're going to get. It comes like this straight out the box. Um, let me see if I could get you guys a little bit of a zoom in here. On the HDMI ports, it actually tells you which one goes to the source and which one goes to the display. I believe that one was just the display and this one should be the source, yeah. Um, after that, if you, if you when you hook up and you don't have any signal, they give you this power adapter, USB power adapter. Um, this part plugs into the regular HDMI port and then this part plugs into the USB on your TV to give it a little boost of power and that should kind of help you get the image on your screen. Um, it does say that the HDMI tips are gold plated 24 karat. To be honest with you, I don't know how much that really actually matters or not, um, but it's there. It's part of the features. Um, let's go over right off the box and see what it actually involves. Um, it is Ryu Pro 8K fiber, opti fiber active optical HDMI cable 2.1. Um, it supports HDR, dy dynamic HDR, and Dolby Vision. Um, supports Ultra HD 8K 60 hertz per second, 4K 120 hertz per second. Um, obviously, it's ARC avail um, it supports ARC. Uh, what else does it have on here? Uncompressed 5.1 and 7.1 Dolby Atmos. Um, and it's up to 100 meters. So, obviously, this is just the um, 12 meter one, but it does go up to 100 meters. So, that's why I was saying if you're having a setup in a larger house, maybe you're just running cables from all over the place 
you're definitely going to then invest in a cable that can actually support that bandwidth this is what uh 48 gigabits per second so that's pretty decent um and what else does it include and that's really about it it is pretty flexible and lightweight to be honest whoa sorry about that it is pretty flexible and lightweight to be honest with you um a lot of those like monster cables that you would get from like best buy i don't even know that best buy even sell monster cables anymore but they were really thick and hard to move so sometimes if you're just trying to tuck them behind the tv they'll get it'll just be miserable so this is actually really flexible um yeah actually that's not too shabby obviously you don't want to bend it too much um, but it seems to be pretty solid in that aspect of things now what i'm going to do is actually try it out um, i'm gonna hook it up because i do have an xbox one and a 4k tv um, so we'll see if it works very well it is a very long cable i don't need that long of cable behind my tv so i'll probably just keep it strapped up just like this and then kind of hook it to the back of the um, wall mount and go from there so now we're going to talk about performance and what i did was actually i hooked up the hdmi cable to my xbox series 1x as well as to my 4k tv and i played a couple games i played anthem well i tried to play anthem but it wasn't loading i played um call of duty i played gears of war 5 um i also played nba 2k just to kind of see what it really looked like I didn't really see any notable change to be honest with you i did kind of see that things were looking a little bit clearer crisp i don't know if it's just my eyes that was messing with me or something to say you know this is your upgraded baby so you got to have an upgrade stuff but i think it worked perfectly fine performance wise it was great i even um went ahead and watched a few videos to kind of see if it was kind of like trailers and stuff like that to kind of see if you know i seen any noticeable difference I think the biggest difference would be, as like I said, if I traveled further away from my TV and the device. So like if the Xbox was hanging out in this corner, but my TV's over there, having to then run that long cable. But because of how close it is to the TV, I don't know if I really experienced that much of a big change and difference. Now, I will say something when it comes to the performance of this um, HDMI cable. My son has a 4K Apple TV in his room and a 4K TV in his room. The cable that we had, would always disconnect so you would have to keep unplugging it uh, from the power source you'd have to actually unplug both the tv from the power source and the apple tv and then unplug the hdmi cables and do like a little dance um miserable experience i used this for about a week in his room it was kind of weird because the wires are hanging all over the place but i used it for a week in his room and i didn't have any of those issues it always connected perfectly fine it never had an issue reading the signal from the tv to the actual apple tv and i know it's not the cable because i actually tried multiple different cables before i decided to give this a shot because i had it in the bag i might as well give it a shot right so now we're going to move into pricing and right now you can actually find it on amazon for 179.99 now that might sound expensive, but that is for a cable that's almost 40 feet. That's number one. Also, it does support um, 4K, and it is built to run long distances. So if you have somebody that has a projector, and you have to run a cable from your projector all the way to your, um, to your setup, this is probably the cable that you want to go for. Uh, it's going to give you the data transfer rate that you actually need in order to kind of get the content you're trying to view, making sure that you do get that high definition feel, plus the audio works the way you want it to work. Um, so I would say that it is a very good value for the price. Um, you can also get different sizes. So I'll just kind of just breeze through the website right now. So a three foot one is about a hundred bucks. You can go all the way up to a hundred feet for 219 which at that point if you have to make that far of a run it is something that you're probably going to have to invest your money in anyway um because you've probably invested your money on a big screen uh, a really good sound system in order to get the sound in the room that you want you might just have to decide to bite the bullet and invest in a better cable as well um in my real testing it seems to work really well like it i didn't have any issues with any lagging um the image was nice clear and crisp now here's the big question does it get the dad dead stamp of approval i say yes the reason i say so is because from testing it i definitely know that it does work it definitely works better than other hdmi cables that i have in this house um, because when i try to hook it up to my son's tv 
it worked flawlessly when other cables were struggling constantly giving that connection and i tried multiple cables i bought brand new cables and it was doing the same thing if you're looking to run a very long distance from a projector to a um, setup in another room through your walls this is a great option it's really flexible so that you it's easy to fish through the wall if you have to um you if you need to bend it you could bend it it's not like one of those thick cables you get from best buy that is pretty pricey but you can't do anything about it because it's so stiff and thick that you can't get it to where you need it to be it's frustrating um, i have about three monster cables that's like that um, so this is really good. So I really think it's the value for the money. You're getting a good deal. Um, it is pretty pricey at $179. But like I said, if you're already investing that much in equipment, it's not a deal breaker. Um, especially if you need to travel far distances. And especially if you want to make sure you get the connection that you need. Um, so let me know what you guys think. If this is your very first time checking us out, definitely think about hitting that subscribe button and joining the family. Um, but until next time. Have a good one, people.